Hey guys, my name is Dylan here with Motion VFX, and today I'm gonna show you a plugin pack that I know you're gonna love, especially if you like making travel videos, travel vlogs, documentaries, home videos, vacation videos. Honestly, you can use this pack for a variety of different types of videos. Nevertheless, let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I will show you what this plugin pack can do. When you install mJourney, you'll find the tools in the title section and in the transition section. Let's start with our drop zones in the title section. These can provide you with some easy to use ways to animate videos and stills over your footage. For example, maybe just addressing where you are or giving a tidbit of what you're planning on doing that day to keep your viewers engaged. Or possibly using an option like split screen to give a side-by-side -side preview of an activity you enjoyed while you talk about the activity. The nine really awesome effects in mJourney can all be found in the title section as well, and you guys are really gonna love these. Wanna add a cinematic feel to your video? Just drag the letterbox effect over your video and you'll have an animating letterbox smoothly show up over your footage. If you want some light leaks or lens flares on your footage, it's as easy as dragging the title over your footage and adjusting. So say I went on a boating trip with my dog. The dog, of course, looks majestic, but I want the sunset to have a little extra something something. I'll show you light leaks first. First, let's raise the opacity so it's a little brighter. Adjusting our blend mode is gonna give us some different variations of the look. I'll go with screen. We have three different light leaks options, and I think option one is looking the best for this shot. Now you'll want to adjust the hue of the leak or the flare to fit your scene. Here, I'll push the hue till it's an orangish yellow. If you need to change the location of the light leak, you can do so by flipping it and having it show on a vertical point, horizontal point, or both. If we play this out, you'll notice that the light leak kind of moves, and that's to help match with camera movement. If you don't want that, just toggle it off. I like to have a little flicker in light leaks and flares, but you can just turn that off or adjust it here as well. If the in and out animation is not something you want to happen, just turn those off at the top of the title inspector window. The flare effect is very similar in setting up, except we have some on-screen controls that you can use to position the flare where you'd like. We have some other cool options like map zoom in, and blurring for doing things like making titles more visible. Also in this effects section, we have different options for LUTs that we included in the pack. mJourney also has these fun little animated icons that can give a little more life to your shots. These are fairly self-explanatory, and you guys can check out the rest of them if you visit the Motion VFX website. So we'll move on to the miscellaneous section, which has some titles to show what you're bringing on your trip so your viewers have a good idea of what to pack if they visit. A pop-up to show your travel flight time. A cool little calendar pop-up. And tons of options to show your schedule. Here's the possibility for you. Use the blur title underneath your schedule title and drag some of mJourney's animated icons over top and you have a nice little schedule title for your viewers. And by the way guys, when I say viewers, it could mean you or your family when you watch your awesome family vacation video to Cancun three years later. I don't want you to think that this pack is only for vloggers or YouTubers. It's really beneficial to have for anyone making videos of their travels, adventures, or life experiences. Routes are an awesome way to show where you're going from point A to point B, or point C, or D. We have options for multiple destinations as well. Let me show you my favorite. I'll drag animated route over my footage. I'll go into the inspector, and the first thing you should do is switch this view option to set location, so we can place our points. After this, we'll head to the drop zone and select a map that we've brought into our library. This is a map that I added on top of a textured background and then made it into a compound clip. Easy to make and I think it looks pretty good. With this compound clip applied to the drop zone, I'll use the on-screen controls to drag the departure point to wherever I'd like on the map and then drag the arrival point to wherever I'd like. I'll write in what I want for the text and change the color. Change the line color. And the final step is to flip the view back to final effect. 
Now we have a really smooth animated route that transitions in and out of your footage really nicely. The titles that we put into M Journey are dynamic and versatile and will not only be perfect for your travel vlogs and videos, but they can be used for commercial work and other video projects as well. We have titles to use as upper thirds to identify the day of your experience, cinematic looking titles, beautifully animated big and bold titles, as well as options of titles to maybe give a brief overview of what you're doing that day. We have 24 of these guys, 24, and they're all really awesome. Last but not least, we have one of my favorite set of tools in the pack, the transitions. We put 11 transitions into the pack, and honestly, you won't need any other transitions for your videos. This pack pretty much covers all the options you'd need. We have some radio blur transitions, some smooth zoom transitions, slide transitions, even some foreground wipe transitions. As an example, I'll show you this zoom in transition and show how to make some adjustments. If we were to try and add a transition to these two clips, we'd get a notification telling us that since there's not a lot of the end of this clip and beginning of this clip left, the transition won't have enough media to work its magic. So all I'm gonna do is trim these clips a little so when we add that transition, it has those extra bits of media that we just trimmed to work with. In our inspector, we can adjust the blur amount, turn off the prism effect if we want, which just adds a slight RGB outline to your edges, and we can decide if we want any noise added or not. We can use one of the foreground wipes to transition from shot one to shot two seamlessly by way of camera blocking. In shot one, there's already something that's showing up to the right of this frame here. This is a perfect opportunity to use transition 11. We'll drag the transition between the footage, making sure that the transition has enough clip media to work its magic with by trimming our clips a little. And we'll extend the duration of the transition by dragging it out. Now we have a seamless looking foreground wipe from shot one to shot two. These are just a few of the tools in M Journey, so I highly recommend checking out the full pack. Go to the Motion VFX website so you can see for yourself that the pack is really worth it. Once again, my name is Dylan, and I will see you in the next one.